Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First play and a first pass coming for Darnold. And his first look is incomplete. Well, if there is a certainty in this game, we know that wherever he goes, he's going to draw a big-time crowd. Throws into double coverage there. And look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete. But they're going to count on him to uncover late in routes and make some difficult catches. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. And that will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. First down, Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Throwing again on second and ten. Darnold, pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now following the sack, Darnold and Carolina left with a third and long. They'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Throwing his hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. From the eight, they've got it first and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's hurts. This is caught. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end for Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Hurts will throw. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8-0. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they fail. Now the pressure back on their offense. 
chance to pick themselves up and negate the touchdown that was just given up. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, 63 yards. And the Panthers have come back to make it a two-point game. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turn. And this is going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case here. That's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Now, after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense sent to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. On the move past the 40. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 8-6 the score after one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw. And connecting quickly with Goddard. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Nineteen, 
Sanders will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught. And he finds his way into the end zone as the lead moves to 10. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Flushed out right. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Darnold throwing out quickly here for Moore. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Darnold on target to Moore for the Panther first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Darnold on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. To throw on second and ten. Darnold. That's going to be caught. It's Chenault. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 26. Again, Darnold. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. To throw again on second down, Darnold. Touchdown, Panthers! Terrace Marshall, 26 yards, and the Panthers are back within a score. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on. But the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Again, that's Watkins. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 
And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Hey, check that, check that. Three, three. Up the middle they go with Sanders. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go until halftime. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields this way up at the 17. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. On first and 10, Darnold. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the three-yard line once more. Now here's third and goal. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude 
of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right now oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are they saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. They'll send Marshall in motion left. On fourth down, Darnold. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles get another third-quarter touchdown.